Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the earpiece speaker in the Motorola Moto X2 second generation. So first of all, all you want to do is make sure that your device is powered off. Then you want to take a SIM eject tool and remove the SIM card tray. So remove that. Use the same SIM card tray removal tool or something similar that you can push in. There's a little hole right in here that you can push up and you can see the back start separating right there. So what you can do is do that. And then what I use is a really thin pry tool like this. I'll link to this in the description so you can find it. And it just opens it up so you can start using that if you want. Then you can just start sliding carefully down the side here like this. It just has adhesive under it and you can just work your way down around with this. Just keep working your way around. Now when you get up here close to the volume and power buttons, you want to be careful. There's some wires in here, but they're in a little bit so you can, as long as you stay out close to the edge, you're fine as you go up through here. So I would say just keep working your way all the way around. Then once you have everything quite loose, what you can do is just start lifting up whatever way it wants to come off the best and the back cover comes right off like that. Next what you will want to do is use a plastic pry tool or something like that. I prefer something non-metallic. Go ahead and remove this rubber plug right here. Then it comes off, set it to the side. Then you want to disconnect the battery right here. Pry up on it carefully. I'll include links in the video description for any tools that I'm going to be using today on this repair or any parts that I'm going to be replacing. I'll include links for them as well in the video description so you can check them out there. So next what we're going to do is use a screwdriver size T4, Torx T4. And we're going to want to remove all these screws all the way around the outside perimeter here. All the black ones, there should be 18 of them. There's two in these pockets as well. And don't remove this silver one for the power and volume button. Just remove all the black ones here. And you don't need to worry about these three silver ones around the logo here either. So next, now that you use a T4 screwdriver and you took all the screws all the way around, you don't have to worry about mixing the screws up. They're all the same size. Just want to let you know. So next, what you want to do is just grab this and start separating. It should come right apart, just like that. To change the earpiece speaker, which is located right here, what you can do is just use something thin like this, tweezers or something. And what I do is just carefully pry down in there, and it just kind of pries right out of there. It comes out just like that. So to reinstall, grab your new speaker. If it has an adhesive film here, you can peel it off, or rubber, and you want to just set it right down in there. Make sure that the prongs are facing down towards the bottom of the phone, like the, the, long, the part that sticks up the furthest. And you just want to press it down in there, and you're all set. Next, we're going to grab this part, set it right down on here, clip it in the best you can. It doesn't really want to stay until we get some screws in it. Let's reconnect the battery down in there. You can go ahead and put the battery plug back in there. Go ahead and put the, all the screws in all the way around. So to reinstall the back cover, what you can do, for the most part, you can reuse the adhesive that's on here if you take it off carefully. If you do need some for some reason, you can either get some actual adhesive and I'll link to this where you can find it or if you want to use like this double-sided adhesive it's just like a two millimeter double-sided I'll link to this in the video description too where you can find it so what you can do is just grab your back cover once you're all set just set it down on here make sure it lines up everywhere and just press it down really well and it sticks right down if you want to just give it a little heat with a heat gun or something a hair dryer or something just give it a little heat with that and you'll find that it'll stick right down better go ahead and put your sim card tray back in you'll be all set thanks for watching